try something new today with my abstract painting. I've made a stencil that I made on my Cricut, really easy to make, and I'm going to be using that in different places on here. But first of all, I want to give a really good background to this, but I want it to be quite shiny, not shiny, but bright. And I'm going to apply the background using some cotton scraps that I've got and some sponge. So I'm going to be using blue, yellow, red, white and cadmium yellow. So let's get on with it. What I've also got is a bowl of warmish water. I don't want it cold because my fingers get cold. To wash me cloth out and wring me cloth out in. I'm going to work on my silicon mat. I always like to work on a silicon mat. I'm going to go from being a bluish round the outside with some bright yellow and a bit of cadmium yellow mixed into it. I'm going to wet my cloth first and I'm going to dip that in and just go round. Let's put a bit of blue in it as well. And then I'm going to go over that. That's turned it into a different colour, obviously. But that doesn't matter, because this is just the background. And now we're going to have a bit more of that cadmium yellow on there. Actually, I think I'm going to put a bit more of that blue around here, because I'm quite liking that. How well, that's come out. Let's go for some cadmium yellow. A bit more of that cadmium yellow, I think. And I'll have a clean bit of cloth. So I'm not tempted to put any of that blue in it. Oh, I am liking that. So now I'm going to just have some bright yellow go in the middle with a little bit of red, I think. We'll make, see it make a little orangey colour. I think that makes orange. I'm not sure. Who knows? But I like the colour that it's coming out at. So I'm going to bring that in here around those edges. Soften that off a little bit as well, like that. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. And now I'm gonna go for a brighter yellow. Yeah, I like that. I think it needs to blend in a little bit more with that previous color that I put on. So I'm gonna go around there and try and blend that in a little bit more. Going all the way around. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the yellow and see if I can lighten it up even more that's gonna be there and then I think I'll go for even whiter almost white right in the middle yep there we go I'm really liking that I think that's come out quite nice I might put some of those little highlights through here though using that same cloth I can use the cloth then to rub them in if they're too much a little bit darker here than I want so I'm gonna put a bit more there lighten that up put a little bit more in here but leave this bit a slightly darker. So there we go, that's my background and it's gone on really quickly and so easily, didn't take long at all. And what I'm going to do now is let that dry or probably dry it with a hairdryer and then I'll show you how I'm going to put the stencil on. Well this is all nice and dry now and I've made up some of my texture paste. Now this is really easy to make. If you want to make some I'll pop the recipe video at the end of this one. And all I'm doing is just Scraping that over my stencil, trying not to move my stencil because I'd like everything to be in the right place. And it scrapes over really nice and easy. It will dry quickly and it will stay where it is. It's so much cheaper than buying it, honestly. And it's just as good. But it don't take long to make at all. There's no cooking or anything involved in it. It's just mixing up a few ingredients. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly take off all the excess. Fill in any bits that need a little bit more, like there. Yeah, I think I've got everywhere. And then I can just pull that off like that. And there we go. That's the first one. And the other one, what I'm going to do is put in a slightly different space, doing exactly the same way, but I'm going to flip the stencil so it's a mirror image of that one. That's nice and dry now. It took about 15 minutes, and then I also went over it for about five minutes with a hairdryer to make sure it was nice and dry. And what I plan to do is paint these gold. I want them to be quite vibrant on here and I'm going to be using the Stuart Semple gold paint. I really, really love this gold paint. I know it's a little bit expensive, but boy does it give a great finish. And then I may go round each of the silhouettes here with a light blue colour, but I'll see how it looks. If I don't like that, then, uh, well, I've kind of had it really. So I'm going to put the gold on first and then I may even on some of them put some gold leaf over the top of it and we'll see how that looks. 
I'm using quite a fine brush here to do that with. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, I love this stuff. It really does give an amazing finish. I may rip some copper into it as well because I've got several of these paints. I've got the copper, the silver and the black or the black gold they call it. Well, I finished painting that and actually I'd rather than go round it with blue, what I went round it with is the copper that comes with the Stuart Semple set and I really like how that's showing that off. What I'm going to do is add some gold leaf but I don't want to add too much onto this. I'm going to use it as if it's like little details. So how I'm going to do that is I've got my brush in my gold glue paint and it's really important to use gold glue paint and I'm going to just bring some little bits into it like this. So that when the gold leaf goes on, it will stick to these little bits here once that's dry and give a few additional highlights. Well, my glue's all nice and dry now and I know it's dry because it goes transparent and what I've got is my gold leaf here and I've got quite a few off bits here. What I'm going to do is put those on in places like this before I start using the full sheets. And this is where I find out if I've actually made a mess of this and dropped any glue anywhere or anything like that because if I have it will stick to the glue really really well and in the wrong place. Hopefully I haven't. And then once I've got some on all I have to do is go over and brush it not too hard but hard enough to remove the stuff that doesn't need to be there. So only keeping it with the stuff that's actually where the glue is. If you can see on that one there, it's kind of glued really, really nicely to that one. And I'm using a makeup brush here to brush it off. And now I'm gonna do these leaves in exactly the same way. I've got a whole sheet here. I'll lay that across the leaves like that. Brush it over so it's stuck onto those leaves where it needs to be stuck. Some of this I can move elsewhere and then now that's on there, I can just go over it again with my brush and knock it all off. And then it should just give me the highlights where I've actually put the glue. Yeah, there we go. So that's highlighted that nicely now. I like that a lot with the extra sheen of the gold leaf and also with the darker colour going around the edge. But now it's to finish it off. And I'm going to give it a coat of a semi-gloss poly acrylic. I'm using a soft bristle flat brush for this and I will probably give it two coats. I always go up and down and then I always go across when I put it on. If you don't want a sheen on this you can always use a matte varnish that's not going to give you a sheen but I just like the way it makes everything else seem to pop once it's dry and especially these colours whatever colours they are, yellows, aren't they? Well, that's all finished now. I absolutely love it. I'm so pleased with how it's come out. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Don't forget to boot that like button if you've enjoyed this video. And also hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. There'll be lots more videos of me trying new things and I'm also going to be doing a series of learning to do some new crafts. Take care, enjoy your crafting, bye.